Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, we are going to be decorating my dining area for the fall time. I am so excited to share it with you all. If you wanna see everything that we get into, go ahead and keep watching. All right, y'all, so I thought that I would start out by showing you all an overview of the dining area. So we're gonna be decorating the table. We're gonna put a, a nice, beautiful DIY centerpiece on it. Then the shelves that we have on either side of the window, we're gonna be decorating those and adding some nice fall cozy touches to them as well. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're gonna start with is decorating the dining table. I am so excited to decorate the dining table because I have this vision in my head of a super abundant harvest, kind of cornucopia-ish, except my own style of a cornucopia type look for my centerpiece on my dining table. So I am so excited to start with that. But let me start by saying I wanna kinda layer everything on the dining table. So first things first, I'm gonna start with this beautiful table runner right here. So y'all, this table runner is absolutely beautiful. I use it for almost every season when I decorate the dining table. It has a lot of texture to it. I love the color of it. And fall is no exception. I feel like this is the perfect color for the fall time. All right, the next thing I wanna share with you all is this huge serving tray right here. Y'all, this thing is 30 inches long. I actually made this myself and I will have a blog post on how I made this. I will link it down below if y'all are interested. I also am sharing a reel of how I made it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, maybe now is the time to if you wanna see how I made this. Super, super easy to make y'all. And I wanted to make it myself because I didn't feel like I could find something this long for my dining table, but I really wanted it to be almost the full length of the dining table. And like I said, we're gonna add a bunch of greenery and fall different foliages and some pears and some pumpkins. I'm so excited to make this centerpiece. So yes, y'all, this is gonna be the next element on top of the table runner. All right, and lastly, y'all, we have this super abundant full basket of all sorts of fall goodies and fall colors in here. So this is all of the greenery and fall picks and pumpkins and candle holders, all sorts of different stuff in here that we're gonna use to make the centerpiece. So let's go ahead and get into making it. Right, y'all so as we go and make the centerpiece i will share with you all where the different greenery and picks are from so if you want to make something like this for yourself super easy to do and it's going to come out super beautiful i am so excited to share it with you all so the first thing we're going to start with is going to be these beautiful leaves right here these came from hobby lobby y'all these are always such a good deal at hobby lobby they are only 4.99 and of course pick them up when they're half off at hobby lobby but yes, y'all, I absolutely love the dark green color on these. So excited to use them. I bought three of them. So we're just gonna kind of put them throughout our serving tray right here. Let me go ahead and take the tags off and then we will add them to the tray. All right, so we're just gonna kind of add them in like this. One on that side, then one on this side over here. And then one right in the middle. I really love the look of the leaves kind of spilling over like this. Super beautiful to start with. And up next, I'm gonna be adding these fall picks right here that also came from Hobby Lobby. These were each $5.99, but you know Hobby Lobby has all of their fall half off right now. So I picked up two of these right here. So now with these, I'm just gonna add one in either end, just like this. Now up next, we're gonna be adding these beautiful maple leaves right here. If y'all remember, I added some of these to our dough bowl 
in the back entryway and they're gonna be carried throughout the house for the fall season. So yes, we'll be adding some of these to our display right here. These y'all are only $2.99 at Hobby Lobby and of course they are fall, so they are 50% off right now. I picked up five of these for this display. So these I'm just gonna add into each end of our tray. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm getting really excited about how it's starting to fill out. It's already looking really beautiful. So now let's move on to some risers that I'm gonna be adding to this display so that we can have things kind of elevated throughout the display. So the first thing I'm gonna add is gonna be these two beautiful wood candle holders right here. These came from Savers, y'all. I believe they were, they were really cheap. I think, oh, I got three of them for $7.99, so a super good deal at Savers. We're gonna be using two of them in this display right here. I really love that they're kind of a distressed looking wood. Super beautiful, especially for the fall time. So I'm just gonna kind of add them underneath the different stems. That way they are really nice and flat. We're probably gonna have to move them a little bit once we get to actually adding the pumpkins, but for right now, it's better that they already be in here so that it makes our job a little bit easier because this is gonna get really, really full, y'all. All right, so up next, I'm gonna be adding this little pedestal stand right here. This one also came from Savers. It was $1.99. Very excited to use it. So this will be right in the middle of the two pedestals that we just added. So next, let me share with you all these beautiful pumpkins that we're gonna be using in the display. So these also came from Savers. I was super excited to find these because I'm sure y'all know, pumpkins with a lot of texture like this, especially this year, are kind of pricey at the stores. So I was very excited to find this one at Savers. And I absolutely love the color. I think this was someone's spray paint job because when you look at the bottom, it has orange on it. So I'm assuming they spray painted these gold, but y'all, they are absolutely beautiful. So these were each $4.99, a super, super good deal at Savers, y'all. I was so excited to find them. So yes, these will be two of the pumpkins that we'll be using in our display. The next pumpkin we're gonna be using in our display is this beautiful white pumpkin right here. This one also came from Savers and I was so excited about that because y'all, this is actually pretty weighted, especially compared to the pumpkins that they're selling at like Hobby Lobby this year. Definitely, you will not find a pumpkin at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. So I was super excited to find this pumpkin. It's super beautiful, kind of rustic looking. I love how it has kind of like the brown lines going through the pumpkin and the stem is really pretty as well. So yes, we will be decorating with this pumpkin as well. So with these bigger pumpkins, I'm just gonna be adding them to the sides. And then with the smaller white pumpkin, it is gonna sit on our little pedestal that we added right here in the middle. So up next, y'all, let me share with you all these super beautiful pears right here. I also found these at Savers. Y'all, I was on a roll at Savers and I was so happy about that because I knew that for this fall, I wanted to incorporate some pears in my decor, but pears are very hard to find, especially when you're looking for this yellow color. I think Hobby Lobby only sells green pears and I really wanted this yellow color and they are kind of pricey. I looked them up on Amazon and for like a six pack, it was around 14 or $15. And I know that's not super pricey, but when it comes to decor, y'all know I love to decorate with a lot of decor. So I try to save money where I can. So I was very happy that I found a pack of, it was a ton of them y'all. I believe it was probably like 12 pairs for $7.99 at Savers and they're so beautiful. Some of them are a little bit different than the others, but I am so excited to decorate with these and we have like a little baby one right here. Super, super cute y'all. I am very excited to use these in my fall display. You will see some more of these when we get to the shelf decorating as well. So let's go ahead and add these into our display. So these two are kind of matching. I wanna add one to either side. Like I said, I want this display to look almost like a cornucopia looks, full of beautiful fall colors and beautiful fall treats. That is the look that I am going for with the centerpiece. 
All right, and up next, I am gonna be adding these beautiful acorns right here. I'm sure that you all have seen these. They are at Hobby Lobby. I really, really love them. They look like wood, like they're carved and they have some glitter at the top, super beautiful. So these are gonna be sitting on the two candle stands that we put in the back of our display. So let's go ahead and add them. So last but not least, I'm gonna be adding in these beautiful eucalyptus sprigs right here. These came from Hobby Lobby last year. I, I did not see any more of these this year at Hobby Lobby. This year they do have eucalyptus, but they don't have as many beautiful colors in them. They are just kind of more of a green and have a little bit of red in them. They're still really beautiful, but I've been looking for more of these. I really, really love these. They, they go really well with the display that we're making right now, but the good news is I have four of these from last year, so we're just gonna kind of add them throughout the display just to kind of fill it out some more and add some more of the beautiful fall colors. All right, y'all, so now that our centerpiece is done, I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope that you guys really like how it turned out too and that you kind of got inspired to make your own. Let's go ahead and move on to the shelves. Y'all know I like to mirror the shelves in my dining area, so I'm really gonna share with you all what I'm gonna use on one side and then I will just show you guys me decorating the other side with music over top of that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the shelves. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna start with the first shelf, which is gonna be the bottom shelf on this side over here. So the first thing I'm gonna use to decorate that shelf is gonna be a beautiful vintage book. So I'm gonna be using this vintage book right here. I absolutely love the green color of it. Y'all know I like to use my vintage books as risers. So we will be putting this first thing on the shelf. And on top of the vintage book, I'm going to add a beautiful basket. This basket came from Savers and I was lucky enough to find two that look similar. So we're gonna be adding the basket on top of the book. Now to that basket, we're gonna be adding some more of our beautiful pears.
And lastly, on that shelf, to bring in the cozy factor, we're gonna be adding in some metal candle holders with some battery operated little votive candles. These candles are super cool, y'all, because they are on timers. They turn on at the same time every day for six hours. So the first time that you turn them on, that will be the time that they turn on from now on and they will stay on for six hours. And then after the six hours, they will turn themselves off and the next day they will turn themselves on again. I absolutely love that about battery operated candles. That way I don't have to worry about having any kind of a remote or anything like that. So I will link these down below. They are from Amazon if you wanna grab yourself some as well. All right, y'all, so for the middle shelf, it will require a DIY, of course. When do I not have a DIY going on in one of my videos? But we will be using this beautiful frame right here. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. It was in their summer clearance, so it was only $1.99. I felt like that was a super good deal for such a beautiful wood frame. So of course the inside is kind of a summer look and we're going for a fall look in this video. So what I decided to do was order a vintage print off of Etsy. So I ordered this one right here. It goes with the rest of our look that has a lot of pears in it. So we will be cutting this picture out to fit our frame right here. And I'm just gonna be using some double-sided tape and adding it to the frame. That way, if during the summertime we feel like using this display, we definitely can. So this one is gonna be for one side of our shelves. Let me show you guys the print that I got for the other side. So this is the print that we're gonna be using on the other side. Aren't they just super beautiful, y'all? I'm so excited that I found these, like I said, on Etsy. And, and then I just used my own printer and printed them on some cardstock that I already had. I will leave these two images linked down below in case you all are interested in ordering them for yourself. They are super beautiful and they're gonna look really beautiful with the rest of our fall decor. So this will be on one of our shelves and then on the other shelf we will have this beautiful print right here. So I will link these prints down below if y'all are interested. You can order some for yourself to add a little extra pizzazz to your fall decorating. Then I will be adding this. I believe this is to grind spices. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys usually know what things are better than I do, but I will be using one of these on either side of our shelves. Also on that middle shelf, I will be adding this metal candle holder right here with a round candle in it. And then lastly on that middle shelf, I'm gonna be adding this small little planter that came from Michael's last year. It's super cute, I love decorating with it. It comes in handy for a lot of different things. And then to that, I'm gonna be adding one of our beautiful acorns to kind of pull the acorns throughout the dining area. And lastly, for our top shelf, I will be using this industrial spool as a riser for a pumpkin. This pumpkin came from Target last year and the wooden spool is from a vintage store. So I will be using this just like this. I really like how that looks. And then to the side of that pumpkin on the riser, I will be adding two small pumpkins that came from Dollar Tree. I'm sure y'all have seen these. These have been around for years. I don't even know that they brought these back this year, but I've had them for years and years. I'm gonna add those pumpkins to these little small risers right here. These are from Hobby Lobby. They were originally white and I spray painted them black to kind of go with the rest of our fall look. And lastly, I decided to add these eucalyptus sprigs. These are the eucalyptus that Hobby Lobby has this year. These are $3.99 each, of course, 50% off. So I'm just gonna add one to either side of our big pumpkin right here in the middle, just to kind of pull the fall colors from our centerpiece up here as well. And then we can move on to the other side shelves.
So the last thing I decided to do was add these green leaves to the side of the pears right here. I did this to both sides just to add a little bit something extra. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed coming along with me to decorate my dining area for the fall time. I absolutely love how everything turned out. I love that it's not super over the top fall, but we brought in the warm and cozy colors of the season. And I just really love how everything all came together. So I hope I was able to inspire you all to maybe go a little bit different with your fall decor and add in some kind of fruits or different things of the season, like pears, like I did here in the dining area, because it's so much fun to do to just add something a little bit different. So yeah, y'all, that will be it for this week's video. Don't forget to like the video, to leave me a comment down below, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We have a lot more fall decorating to do, so I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye, y'all.